Bass, bass fishing 101. Holy cow. What'd you lose? My tip. Oh yeah, I can't lose your tip. This reality TV show right here. I almost stepped in that guy. He was right there. Want to get a picture with you? Nah, it's all good. No, we do we do like a vlog style. Gangnam style, right? Yeah, man. The rattle trap here. We're ending our trespassing day over here at the golf course. Releasing this nice bass here. Uh, hold on. I can't do this with one hand. This is a, uh, eh, probably like a two pounder. Got him on the. The Muse. Muse Black. Muse Black, I guess. Muse, Muse Black with the uh, Concept A. The camera on. Oh. On that release, yeah. Hopefully I had the camera on another one. <laughs> Stupid. I need a better camera. But it's about 5 a.m. I just loaded my kayak. Did some bass fishing last night. Well, in the evening. Now I'm, I loaded the, let's even zoom, no. Um, I loaded the kayak. I'm supposed to go fish for some snook or something, first light. It is hot, it is August, well, it's almost August, it's July, yeah, it's almost August. It might even be August, I don't even know, I'm oblivious uh, to the time right now. It is Saturday, we're gonna get there early, hopefully catch a couple of fish, and be done with it for the day. Anyways, I gotta go by the shop first, drop off some gear, that way it's not all cluttered up in my car and truck, and I don't know if you can see that, there's a bunch of stuff back there. That's not supposed to be there because I've been pretty much living out of my truck for the last couple weeks. Anyway, so hopefully I can show some fish nets or the launch or something. Well, I really couldn't record much earlier because it was so dark. But we're out here. It's a beautiful day. Bishop's Harbor. I think Butch caught a catfish and a ladyfish over there. And John has caught a flounder. I think he's over there. I've caught nothing. I did get a, um, I did get a, uh, hit on a one of those savage gear top water jerk bait thingy and it came off it looked like a, either a small snook or a mangrove snapper but man it's beautiful let me see i'm heading out there to see out there to see if there's any fish out front because really don't like it in here in the summertime it's kind of hot i want to be off the water by about 10 o'clock so hopefully that happens pretty soon Hopefully I get a fish, then it'll be after water by 10 o'clock, right? The reason I like to keep my pelican case out there is because a lot of things happen on the water. You need quick access to your case, your camera, I mean. And that is the best way to, to have it for me. If I put it down here, I'll just hit my legs in the pedal system. If I put it in the back, it'll take way too long to get the camera ready. So I just rather have it out there. It's waterproof, so when it falls over, I don't have to worry about it as long as I remember to close the lid, of course. And I put a little sea deck on the bottom. Let me see, you can see that. A little sea deck on the bottom so it doesn't slide off. Has another tip for you. Uh, and that works well on boats as well. You know, everybody wants to see, uh, I leave, when I go on a boat, I leave this out for quick access as well. What's the point of having it in a hatch if uh, you're on a boat because cool stuff happens and you miss it if you don't have quick access to your camera? Oh, here you go. That's the GoPro with the Real Blazer HD mount in the bottom there, and a camera mount. I put a little C deck here as well. That way I get a little little grip when I turn it down. Doesn't doesn't spin on me and stuff, but it's okay right now. Um, but you can tilt it and stuff. It's pretty cool. And of course the GoPro has that 24 hour digital power battery on it. You must have some assistance. Which pulls himself in a uh, another trout. He caught one before. Yeah, that's a keeper. Todd will take him home. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, 15, 16 inch trout. That's pretty good. And not bad at all. All right, so so you caught about five, six fish so far. You got you got the fish of the day. Not bad. Exactly. I caught the damn snapper. So the day ain't over. So that's right. I'm saving my my eats for for the real fish. Not these petty little bait Pe peasant fish. Another fish, another mangrove snapper. This one on top water. 
these guys are very being very aggressive feeding on these tiny baits out here. Let this guy go. Try to upgrade to like a redfish or snook or something. Another fish does not thing that I'm looking for. Hey, a little trout, but definitely not the size I'm looking for. The damn lure is about half the size here. Alright, so so far I caught about 20 fish, but they're all like, I don't know, tiny, tiny stuff, like one pound. So trying to get something something of significant. Now if I was food fishing, it'd be awesome. We'd be catching tons of mangle snap on these little these top water. These uh Whoa, that's pretty. I just saw something could breach over there. Uh, these things right here. They work pretty good. This is called a Savage Gear Hard Mud Metal. I just saw something come up. I go, Snook, I'm gonna get a release on the GoPro. Right there, here you go. There we go, healthy release. Finally, a little game fish on top water. So, caught a few s small snook in those um, shallow areas near the shadow lines. Got a f cool eat too on, on the GoPro there. Right next to the kayak. So it's 10 o'clock. I've been out here since like six something or so. Caught about 20, 25 fish. Nothing big. So I'm debating with all the conditions out here right now. Weather and everything. So I just head in. I'm on, I'm on a paddle craft. So it started lightning or something. And it's high tide. And the weather's not too bad actually to be honest with you. But I just hate fishing non-optimal times, man. I'm trying to optimize my time right here. I think I'll give it another 30 minutes, then I'm going to head in. Back at the ramp here. Storm's coming in. Calling it a day. Uh, fishing was actually good. Just The fish just wasn't very big. Could that be one of those things? I need one of those trailers, man. Look at that. Look at those trailers. Put two PAs on there, and my kayak and stand-up paddleboard and stuff would be nice, too. Of course, then I gotta find a lock. I can't use it all at the same time. Actually, I can use this, this trailer too. That's pretty cool. That trailer? That'll work too. Oh, is this in slow motion mode still? That's gonna suck. That is bulk ketchup. I had no idea bulk ketchup came like that. Both of the muffins are right here. Alright, the muffins. The muffin man. Muffin man. Muffin man. <laughs> so I'm back at the, at the office after lunch here. And I'm editing the content video to do a two minute tackle video as you can see. Uh, it's rendering right now so I got time to talk a little bit. Right, I use this thing here to do the, the voiceover. It's a little bit better mic than what's on the field. A lot of time on the field is, is horrendous audio, with, especially with the wind and everything. So I use this to do the voiceover. Of course, my and I'm charging my GoPros and, and stuff like that. This is the, the vlog type video so it's not going to be very very complex. but. It still needs to be done, right? Things going on behind the scene that takes a lot of time. That's not very glamorous. The fishing part of it, it looks awesome, obviously. And um, other than that, I don't even know. What else looks awesome, really, to you guys? Um, this is cool right here. The phone. This is a 24-hour battery for the GoPro. It's pretty awesome, man. You can literally record 24 hours of GoPro by DigiPower. Ugh. But other than that... That is it. Let me get this done and, and put it up there in two minute tackle. Then I gotta post to all the social media that I have um, access to. So that's gonna take a while. I can do it from my phone. I can do it from my, my my desktop. I can drop. I can put it in my Dropbox or, or, or Google Drive. Then transfer it. Then upload it. That way I can do it on the road. So a lot of things going on behind the scenes to get this image of uh, awesome, perfect Facebook life going on. But it really is. It definitely is not. So it's Sunday. While everybody else is fishing, I am here doing a how to improve your hookup ratio on your bait buster, which is the favorite of most tarpon fishermen. As you can see, I got my tripod, I got the hook, I got the prop. So no rest for the weary while everybody else is hanging out with their family. Well, I guess it's actually. A good thing, because I hate like hanging out for frivolous, no reason stuff. <laughs> That's evil. But I feel much better today. today yesterday I was kind of beat up, but I feel uh, much better today. On the water and trying to get stuff done afterwards, it's brutal. So I'm trying to do a better job with it today. But content, it's got to be perpetual. I do this for a few companies. And that's what you got to do, because you're not getting paid big money for this stuff. So you got to do a lot of them, right? You think Hollywood. 
I'm debating whether we're going to get some food or not. I have not eaten anything except for this cup of coffee. Have I eaten anything else? Yeah, this is that, uh, that, that Yeti cup. And instead of using it as a, as a soft drink hold, I use it as a coffee cup. So, works pretty good. Same thing. Doesn't have the very fancy uh, lip thing with the low bottle, but I'm not going to go out by that. This one is fine. It's, uh, well, I've been up since 3 a.m. It's probably close to 4 now. I got to be at the airport by, oh, I got a flight at 6. I could be at the airport by 5. I haven't really packed anything, so I got about 30 minutes to pack all this crap up properly. I put it in the right place. Got my hat, got my sunglasses. I'm good to go in there. As far as fishing gear, just got reels. I should have rods shipped over there. So we should be okay as far as that is concerned. And hopefully I actually get to fish instead of just film people fishing. She just landed in Houston. Woo! Alligator gar on swim bait in Texas. With Cap Kirk. Kirk. Cap Kirk. The Star Trek. Oh man. A little too close. Alright, so I just landed in Houston. Just got my luggage. Damn it, bright in the sunglasses. That's okay. It's in the where the hell is it? Anyways, Micah? Some. Is that Micah? It's Micah. Who's that from? Uh, I have no idea. Really? Because it's not it's not Michael, it's Micah. That's usually like a girl's name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like a, it's like my a boy dad's, named Sue. Yeah, it's my dad's middle name and there uh -huh. was a, uh, you know, he was born in the 60s and I think it was, um... He was like high and shit and... <laughs> no, my girlfriend, I think there was, like a, there was like a show called The Rifleman or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the, the old uh, show. Not that I remember. I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah you're old enough. Um, I have no idea what you're talking so, about. So, I guess the sheriff's name was Micah. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure that's where the name comes from. So it's like a Western name. Yeah. Like a Western name from I think my TV grandparents show. try to pretend that it's a biblical name. Really? I'm pretty sure they just named my dad after a TV character. Yeah, that's probably better. Pretty sure how that that's how that Because that biblical stuff is kind of lame with being named after <laughs> Joseph Jesus and stuff like that. Anyway, so anyway, just glad. Thanks, Micah. We're going to get some to eat. I've been up since three. So the body does not know that, you know, it's been up. It's got to eat. We're animals. Right. So we're going to eat, man. I don't know. What do you want? Well, I don't pancakes. know. You want this is Texas, man. You got some cheese? morning barbecues? Got some morning barbecues? Uh, they probably don't, huh? I don't know about barbecue. You want Texas, you gotta get kolaches. What the hell is a kolache? It's our um, breakfast tacos. I mean, that's Texas. Breakfast tacos. Yeah, yeah. Kolaches. All right. Um, Let's do that. I like stripes and stuff. Okay. That's pretty cool and fatty. <laughs> stripes, all right. I mean, we'll it doesn't matter. It's just from here to, to Railblazer. Yeah, we'll figure we'll be, it out. We're fine. All right, it's cool. We'll figure it All out. right, I'll show you what we need. Just tired, beat down. All right, so. I need some Botox, man. <laughs> yeah, that's about all we got. Doritos. No, is that Doritos? Is that fucking... That's Doritos. That's Doritos? <laughs> Doritos Doritos, Doritos. Is, so you say Doritos to Mexican people that I have never told you talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's like the like Yeah, I know that, but it sounds like Mexican. <laughs> but anyways, we're at uh at this place right here. It's breakfast time. Eight o'clock, right? Eight o'clock and this Mexican Mexican place is open. This is what's so cool about these 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 restaurants, man. They got pictures. They just point at You don't have to even speak Spanish. Or Mexican. Spanish and Mexican are the same thing, right? Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Spanish. Speak Mexican. There's a Mexican language? Spanish. 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 Just want to know. <laughs> uh, so it's one of those things like when you go to like a Chinese restaurant, you have to take that. But nowadays it's all like number. You yeah, everybody knows what the hell it is. We got fried tilapia. Ah. There you go. That's cool. That's Let's see what I'm gonna get. The lighting is phenomenal, man. Get out. These are uh, real tacos. Real tacos. Okay. What do you get? A pastor. How's that? Don't ask questions, just eat it. Can I taste a little bit? Yeah. It's like, it's like beef. I got a lingua, which is tongue, and um, barbacoa. Cindy's gonna be mad.